Welcome back to Daily Flash. Uh, you know, our next guest has want me to put the gloves back on and get into the ring. Mm, 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 mm. Well, of course. Uh, anyway, uh, just like I'm floating like a butterfly and I'm ready to sting like a bee. Thanks to the all new movie Lola 2. Check it out. I spoke to the promoter, Queen of the Ring. Apparently, opponent dropped out. So this is your new opponent now. Her name is Trina. She's 10 and 0 right now. Here to join us and talk about the movie is the producer of the film, Monica Dollface Floyd. Hello there, Monica. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Thank this you for being exciting. on. Tell us, what, what, is, what is Lola 2 all about? Uh, obviously boxing, but what else? Lola 2 is really about only the strong will survive and um, just having a voice as a female, having a voice and learning to defend yourself. So that's that's really what it's about. I am enough. I got you. And why'd you uh, do a story about female boxing? Okay, female. This this particular story and what the story means is is definitely female empowerment. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know if people saw Lola one, but uh, the young lady was attacked. She was, you know, not equipped, couldn't defend herself. So she made up in her mind she was going to take up the boxing skill in which she did, she received a lot of adversity at first, not wanting her to go into this venue, into this space, because why? Females can't box for real, right? right. Um, I'm not gonna say she, it. <laughs> <laughs> Layla Ali would, would beg to differ. She Absolutely. Was amazing. Uh, well, it seems like, you know, there is uh, inspiration or desperation why people do stuff like that. And it seems like this kind of has a little bit of both, uh, you know, based off Lola One, where she's inspired to get down there and those people saying you can't kind of really motivated her to do that. And in this film, though, you have a lot of well-recognized faces. You have from Roy Jones Jr. to Olympic champion, female boxing champion, now mixed martial artist Clarissa Shields, Elise Neal's in there. Tell us, what was it like to work with the champ? And, you know, were they really giving tips? Um, yeah, you know, Roy Jones, our relationship goes back a while. I've worked with him and his sons before on some projects. So he's like family. And I was blessed enough to have him come. He came from Russia, came back early wow. to do this project. So, I mean, wow, that was just an amazing feeling to have that type of support. Elise Neal is a great friend of mine, and I knew she would be, me and my director, Antoine Allen, we knew she would be perfect for this role. She killed her part. Clarissa Shields, I'm always excited about what she's doing. She's changing the whole scope of the game uh, in that space. And then I want to, it would be remiss for me not to mention Taja Simpson, who plays the lead role of Lola. She does an excellent job. And I don't think anyone else could have done that. Yeah. And Tamala Jones, who is the coach of the character Trina, who I look at as being the villain, she she killed her role as well. Very cool. This was fun. My understanding, you're, you're working with Spike Lee uh, again. Hey guys, are you working together on another project? You know what? I pray that was like a life changing experience to be able to work alongside of Spike, sit beside him for about two weeks and trail him. I don't take that lightly. I yeah. learned so much. from him. He is definitely just the best, one of the best uh, directors. And that was a big, big blessing for me. Yes, I pray to work with him real soon. <laughs> Very cool. Well, we really appreciate you being on the show, y'all face. And of course, you want to check out and get more information about this movie. We have a link for you. You can go to Dollface Music to find out more, as well as on Twitter, Dollface Music. Thank you so much for joining us.